welcome. I'm psychic medium Roberto and I hope you're doing well today. All right, so I'm going to be looking at uh, Brian and Anna Walsh from the perspective of profile by numbers. All right, so we know that now Brian has been arrested a few days ago. He's already at his first hearing. And as of today, January the 11th, um, we are still looking for Anna Walsh. She is still missing. All right, so let me take a moment and uh, tune in. In this profile, Murder by Numbers, I'm going to be looking at both Anna as well as Brian to see their makeup in terms of a numerology profile. And then I'm going to be looking at the days leading up to New Year's Day. And let's see what we can pick up. And I think we can all agree that this is not going to end well. And I'm seeing that in the lead up to New Year's Eve into New Year's Day. All right, so let's have a look. So who was Anna and who was Brian? So let's look at Anna first. And um, she was born on April the 13th, 1981. That gives us the 4, the 13, 4 and the 1. All right, so immediately I would say uh, with Anna, very articulate person, um, very meticulous, I would say very facts orientated type person with the fours. Um, she would have good authorship skills, uh, very much an independent person with that one. Also very money orientated, I would say. Money would play a big part in her life. And we do know that she comes from humble beginnings. And it's always a Cinderella story when someone comes from humble beginnings, makes a name for herself, makes a life for herself. And unfortunately, when you're dealing with, and I believe uh, Brian had gone to see a psychiatrist by his father, who was labeled as a sociopath. And I would tend to agree with if you see that number five and the number nine in his uh, profile, but we'll get to him in a bit. So the outcome of the day um, is an eight and the one gives us the nine. I would say Anna would be a very good communicator, very type present physical type person. She would be taking care of her health, um, very good communication. Um, and I believe if I'm not mistaken, was in the property business and with the property business, we would see that in the fours, that is all about earth, metal, wood, natural earth elements. So that's where she would get her property um, aptitude, let's say. And I would say in the early days would be a very good seller with that eight is all about communication, talking. She certainly had the gift of the gab and very independent woman. Um, she could live on her own quite comfortably take care of the three kids quite comfortably, a very uh, innovative person, very much of ideas. How can we make better sales? How can we improve our services with that nine? Very much business orientated, money orientated, communication. And we know she was in the property game. So I would say overall, very well-rounded person, um, well-balanced, um, would be dealing with facts and figures and not flimsy fantasies. And I would say, and it's, it's now common knowledge because the internet has blown up with all the issues with Brian. And when I was trying to do as little research as possible, all that information was blown up in my face. So anything that I've read, I'm not going to disclose as anything new. And I will disclose that I know about it uh, through the research. And we know he was going through some, uh, I believe he was under house arrest already for an art fraud. And that art fraud sits with that five in his name all about bullshit lies deceit betrayal affairs money issues effectively having no respect for money is what i'm seeing with him now what's interesting uh, with brian and anna is that first line we see anna 4 13 4 1. now brian if you look at his numbers he also has a 1 4 13 4. So from a numerology point of view, very interesting. However, they do sit at different positions 
um, in their makeup, in their lineup of their date of birth and their names, and the outcomes are definitely different. So this would be a classic case of, and I've said this in many videos, everyone has a choice. Okay, and I know it sounds very easy. Uh, circumstances can lead us to difficult choices. However, we all have a choice. Okay, so the difference with him is the outcome five. So that five would represent what he is during the day. Okay, and that eight would represent what Anna is during the day. Very different people. Um, I've mentioned what I know that 8 represents and I've just mentioned now with Brian with that 5. That 5 would have enabled him to sell fake art. The big bullshitter, the con man, the liar, the lies, lies, lies. Okay. And he would also, um, they both have the outcome 9. Now again, we all have a choice. And I believe in this case, that nine of Brian is very, very different to Anna's nine. And it's made up of different numbers. Now, Brian also has the four. Now, which is quite ironic because, and it's a 13, four, which is not necessarily a good number. That 13, four that we see in numerology is pretty much like the death card with terror. Okay. And with that four, um, I would say, look, if you look at the positive about community, bringing people together, say we would have brought those people together for the sale, spun them a lie and, you know, thinking he's done a deal. But obviously we know that uh, he was caught out with that. And the outcome nine there for me, as we know now, the situation is the propensity for murder. Okay. Very different with Anna. Ideas, innovation, how can we improve our business? How can we improve customer experience? How can we improve and get more money as any business would? And I would say uh, with him, he would have scrupulous means of stealing, lying, sell a painting, for example, as the greatest painting ever. Meanwhile, fake as anything. Fake, fake, fake. Now, what's also interesting is the Anna and her maiden name with the outcome 10 1, also all about money, independence. Um, I would say she would have an inkling of spirituality, but very much grounded in um, facts, figures. Um, she has the 7 in her name, all about travel, and we know that she had recently. Um, uh, got a new position that would include a lot of travel she would have loved that she would love commuting love traveling backwards and forwards of course she was uh, concerned about the well-being of the kids um, but definitely that would suit her and that's 66 now i've taken the maiden name because that's the name she was born with and of course walsh ironically also ends in a five or the outcome five so also about bullshit on the negative side and i know his father was a respected neurosurgeon but five that five would also speak about in the case of a neurosurgeon for example having the surname walsh was high level education university higher learning um the diplomat very politically orientated um in import export um, that kind of thing so on a positive side that five it's about breaking boundaries, import, export, foreign affairs, foreign department, um, and obviously includes a lot of money. However, Brian would use his fire for different purposes, unfortunately. And uh, that's why we all have a choice. Now, Anna has that uh, in her last name, the 663. That's a serious power number. That is about bringing people together. It's a higher level community, friendship, family, friends, serious connection. And I would say if if you got to know Anna and she accepted you, that was friends for life. Friends for life. OK, now. Let's go to the next slide, which is going to be the. Build up and lead up to January 1, 
and I've also included January the 2nd. So I've started, I was actually, in my opinion, directed to December 28th by Anna. And I'm sorry to say for us that are still here. Um, to look from December 28th, I was actually going to look only December 30, 31. Because we do know that Anna was alive there. Now, what's interesting here is it will show a buildup of an issue. Okay. Now, I believe a big argument would have taken place on December 28th. That 28th, now you see that 18 Anna on her date of birth is about communication. Now you've got 2 8. I believe there was an argument that would have occurred. And this could have been ongoing. I mean, uh, can you imagine living with a, a loser um, who has been convicted by a federal court, if I'm not mistaken, or at least by the court of law um, for a felony offense for for selling uh, artwork or fake artwork okay now I think this would have been ongoing and of course this could have also included the arguments around her travel uh, that she'd be commuting from January 1 or January 2 um, but certainly there was an argument that had broken out there was uh, issues around control or control issues on that 12 3 now we see that 10 1 okay that 10-1, if you recall, the previous slide was um, Anna's outcome on her name. The 10-1 with the um, last name, outcome 10-1. That is Anna in the center of an argument, control issues from Mr. Brian. And that 6 tells me this would have been quite a loud argument it would have been it could have got a bit physical could have got aggressive but i believe that anna would have put her foot down with that four and she was leaving let's say at least leaving to go on the new job the reason for the arguments i believe the root issue was money number one the number one money okay anna was very successful she was actually doing very well, having read up a bit about her. She was doing very well. Her net worth was very good. Brian, on the other hand, was minus the same what Anna had, but in the minus. Not very good with money, and that's the five in his name there. So if we go then to December 29, we see again, we've got control issues 12-3, 11-2. Now that 11-2 concerns me. In the context of the situation okay and that six as well there was a lot of uncertainty in this household and i would say that that uncertainty was coming from brian's end because you can imagine being under house arrest with no money looking after the kids and supporting the family and she was leaving enjoying or let's say she was leaving to start a new chapter in her career she was moving up someone that came from humble beginnings and i'm telling you now and we know she started as a maid and that's how she met brian and that's just what i read but i would suspect based on his numbers that whenever there was an argument about money or him not having money or him being arrested being put under house arrest he would have used that against her many many times the fact that she was a maid she used to clean for him that's the kind of person he is with that five that five in this case for mr brian not a very nice person and i mean did you see the pictures of him coming out of when he was coming out of that building wherever he was sorry i don't know exactly where that was but that picture of him coming out with handcuffs behind the back followed by officials smiling as he came out that building smiling smirking like he is the typical and i know he's been called a sociopath but this guy feels nothing about what transpired between him and anna i mean think about it there's three young kids now that are going to have to grow up in the main in some kind of foster structure 
in some foster institute. I mean, come on. He resorted to violence at the end of the day. Let's be frank here. Because we know that he Googled how to dismember. We know he purchased tons of cleaning material. And that we see in January 1. You know, I was just speaking to a client just before this for one of my personal readings. And this is why I enjoy numerology. Yes, I'm very psychic. And I'm very... Um, good at tapping into the spiritual world as a medium but I didn't choose to do that in this case because the information we're getting out in the press at the moment is stating the obvious but I feel it would be very good to see how that plays out with the days leading up to January 1 and this guy is a mean mean bastard so if we go back to December 29, the outcome there in the days of five. So there was a lot of lies and bullshit going on during this day. And, you know, we all know that this is supposed to be a time of um, holidays, family. But inside this household and inside the kitchen, inside the bedroom, there was big problems going on here. And this was the builder, I believe. The fact that she was leaving put this guy into a wobbly state like you can't believe. Okay? This guy, when he realized, or let's put it this way, at some point it would have clicked in him that Anna's going to be away for some time. He can't depend on her. He can't lean on her. He can't ask her for 10 bucks. He was feeling shaky. So that December 29 ends on 11-2. Very shaky day. This was that 11-2 was like a little mini earthquake for him. Because we see the fire right there. Okay. We see the fire right there on December 29. This impacted Brian directly. Which left him in two minds shaky. And because of his numbers that he has. Of course, he would choose the negative route and not the positive route. So we see December 30th, 2022. We have the 12-3 ever present. Also speaks about family. There's family around, but also speaks about control issues. Okay. That three is about the family, community, being together. It's December the 30th. Now, what really bothers me is that six plus six. We saw that in the uh, Mishra case as well, the day that I believe she was drugged and uh, kidnapped, abducted. We see that 6-6, six, six. that for me is problematic, okay? And the outcome there is the 12-3, all about abuse, all about control, filthy mouth from Brian. I'm just picking up an image. Filthy mouth from Brian, filthy mouth. And like I said, he would have, uh, in many occasions, used the fact that she used to be a maid and cleaned his apartment. That's the kind of prick this guy is, okay? And I believe between the December the 30th and December 31, he made a decision about murder, about taking control the way he thought he can take control, and was already devising and building up, I would say, more internally, he is a bit of an internal person as well with the force. I would say this was bubbling and boiling inside him. And I'm just going to jump to the image. I've received this image twice now and I've just received it for the third time. Now, I will get to that image now. December 31, we know there were friends over for a New Year's Eve, right? Now, that day ends on a 13-4, which is, if you want to take it to... A level 13 for end of the year, new beginnings, new and you know, closing off the year, new beginnings, end of a year. That 13 for in my mind, and we see that 13 for in both these people, Anna and Walsh, uh, and Brian, beg your pardon. Now we see that 13 for in both Anna and Brian. Now let me let me distinguish the difference between the 13 fours in both of them, okay. That 13.4 in Anna, which is the day. So when she opens her eyes, when the sun rises till about noon, 
that number applies to Anna. Okay. She, in her mind, would have, it would be like a recap of the day before, making sure everything was sorted in her mind. That also includes like follow-up calls in the morning. You know, it's also about taking care of the children in the morning. Okay. It is about uh, sorting out what needs to be sorted out quickly. And I would say she would be very efficient with all the fours. Okay. Now, in Brian's case, where that 13 four sitting is very, very prominent, and we see it on the second last line, although it says four, it's 13 four. That is not nice. That 13 four is about death, thoughts of death, compounded by the outcome nine. This guy was bad news. He's 13 four is sitting, unfortunately, where it's not good okay and the outcome of that december 31 13 4 is brian and it is anna unfortunately okay so i would say that in his mind now remember they both outcome nine now in his mind he decided by the end of that evening he is going to end it once and for all and we know that on January 1, she did not get in that vehicle, as far as I understand, to go to the airport. She did not use her ticket. And I believe the ticket was actually for January 3. So he was feeding the authorities lies, and that was the premise in which he was arrested. So, and in my opinion, based on the numbers, I don't believe Anna left that house that morning. Now, I did read that there was a neighbor of sorts saying he saw her go to this vehicle. I don't believe that at all. I respect our witnesses, no problem, but it's well documented in psychology as well as um, police manuals that our witnesses, yes, are important but not necessarily always correct. You know, time, especially with cold cases, time plays a big part in how much we retain in our memories. And also uh, we can be swayed by prejudices, which we've seen in previous cases. Um, people can be manipulated to give information about our witness accounts. So although important, it should never be hinged on that. So in my opinion, I don't believe Anna left the house, unfortunately, on January 1. And those numbers are telling me there was... So there was two things happening in with regards to that physical separation. There was a physical separation between Anna and Brian. In that, this was over. Now, that image that I spoke about is Anna being violently taken out of bed or somewhere in the bedroom, but definitely, I, I still get the sense that with that image, that she could have been sleeping, and Brian grabbed her out of that bed and took her downstairs, or the basement, wherever they found the blood and the knife. But the image that I received was her being um, roughly taken out of the bedroom or bed, in like a violent way but in a very aggressive, violent way. And we see that aggression in the six on the top line on January 1, as well as the six below, and the eight, extreme violence, okay? So the way he pulled her out of bed was the six, and now we see two individuals, one and one. And we see the six below that, but that eight, unfortunately, is not good. Okay, that eight is talks about extreme violence perpetrated on physical, biological violence. And it's common knowledge that he googled how to dismember a body. And we see that in the eight. Very, very violent. Very, very violent. Okay, now, in my opinion, Anna did not leave the house at all post the New Year's Eve party. Okay, 
So I'm not going to go any further on the next day, the next day. This is not going to be the purpose of this video. Where can we find her? I believe they are going to find her, um, if not already. And I say I'm recording this on January 11, and hopefully it should go out January 12. Very, very aggressive day, January 1. And it would have been in the early hours of the morning. And uh, not good. Unfortunately, this is not good. And yeah, again, and I, I just want to say it again that we have someone that started at Humble Beginnings who paid and educated herself to be in the position she received and was full deserving of that promotion. And this irked Brian, which made him feel even more insecure. You know, when you're in that position, and I don't want to be sympathetic towards Brian, but just to give context, if you are under arrest, under house arrest, limited movement, um, and your thriving wife who has just received a brilliant promotion is out there jet setting, that would have irked him completely. And unfortunately, he got out of control. And like I'd say, um, not even out of control with all those fours. Like I say, from December 29, December 30, December 31, this was a volcano building inside of him. And he was waiting till she fell asleep. And he took revenge in his eyes, taking revenge. She had the power in the relationship. She had the money. She was going places while he was uh, couch surfing. So unfortunately, this is not going to be a good ending. And once again, we have a male misogynist taken out on a successful, beautiful, intelligent, loving mother. And he had total disregard for her, total disregard for his three children. And now they will suffer. In these cases, the children always suffer. And that's also the one of the most unfortunate parts. So, unfortunately, not a good ending here. And a story about a man that is full of lies, deceit, deception, fake. Like his painting that he sold. All right, thank you for watching, and uh, if you'd like to leave your comments, please leave your comments. I read all of them, I really do, and um, please hit the subscribe button or the notification icon, so you'll be alerted for future uploads, and I would just say stay safe and stay alert.